all the time because you're really good at it. So regardless of your level, it's, that scissor sweep is beautiful, right? You use it for everything. So you guys need to see it again. You got it? Okay. Let's go through it one more time. Do your knees. Start from closed guard. Call our sleeve. Get on my side. One goes down. One goes up. Okay. All the way to the floor here. To the armpit here if possible. Pull. Look. And then over that shoulder. Okay. Now, what if, what if I go to do this? Who can give me some what ifs? Anyone? Okay, he postures, right? He pulls back away from me, and I'm trying to pull him into me. I just sit up, capture this arm, and go backwards. Okay? What if he, uh, <clears throat> what if he kind of comes down low and starts going back towards your feet? Ah, uh, so he slides down. Can you squash down? It's, it's slide down towards slide, slide down towards legs. Towards, towards yeah. Yeah. legs. Yeah, there you go. So, so it's kind of sprawl out. I think is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. It's like here. Yeah. Okay. Because then it's so, gonna be hard for you to pull him up. Yeah, right? I can't pull him up. Right? <laughs> so here's what we do. Look, you see his grip? Uh, Sorry, I was. Too <laughs> <laughs> Man, so, I really need to see that. Again. <laughs> <laughs> so if he puts his head low to me. Okay, I just loop this around, okay, this way. Same thing if he kind of tries to drive into me. Same thing if he, remember we talked about, I use this as an example for that loop choke, when he grabbed the knee and trying to clear past his body, right, he's trying to push it down this way. And I use that for the same, <laughs> same purpose, okay? Anybody else? Let's say I'm trying to knock him this way, right? So he tries to go back that way. I switch and I have the only plug. Okay? I understand. Don't worry. Like I'm screwed if you can't do it. What else did we do? So we've, we've gone through three. We did the loop choke, we did the hip bump, we did the uh, omoplata. The back. The back tape. Back. So when I go to do this, this is the risk of having his foot down low. He steps over it. Boom! Okay, so now I use this leg that's here as a clearing path because it's already under his arm, right? And I use that and I follow my hand with my leg, and then I bump and I shut them off and take them back. Okay, so far so good. What else? What are the other one? That triangle. We kind of covered it, but not really. He doesn't need to know that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so the triangle is, yeah, he has his elbow in front of my leg here, so I can't get to his armpit, yeah. right? So I'm trying this, but he does that. So in that case, I switch and I kick so that the back of my leg goes on and get your elbow in front of me, like that. So you'll see a lot of higher belts do this sort of thing, right? Because they do not want to expose their elbows, right? So I'm going to go here, pull, and now I can jump in. Okay? So that's that one. All right? So these are the options we have if we don't get the suit suite, right? Yeah. So we have whatever it was, four or five options. <coughs> I was just thinking, can, can you also hold the arm, come up and... Uh, Kimura, more yeah, more. for sure. It's there. Same thing, if you, whenever you do a hip bump suit, the Kimura is there. Yeah. 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 Okay, good, good, good combination. Okay, now we'll switch a few minutes. All right, so yesterday we went over how to kind of defend this, right? Like, what do I do now? Like, it can seem like a lost class no matter what I did, right? And it sometimes is like that. So we have this and this, he goes to do the sweep. When he goes to do that sweep, remember, I don't have any base over here, right? Like, he has a pretty good percentage chance of getting me. So I have to take this leg and kind of sacrifice throw. I'm gonna put this leg right here, okay? So it's weird, right? So when he, go ahead, pull here, okay? Now I take this hand, and I reach down and grab his hands, push it away from me, and then I center back up. Okay? So I need to, except most of you are old enough to know what a GI Joe doll is. <laughs> um, they, they used to have this thing where the, the body and the, and the legs would swivel, right? The rubber band in the middle, yeah. So that's what I have to do. I have to keep my head facing him as much as possible. Meanwhile, my legs, Go like this, okay? So when he does this, I don't have this hand. Okay, grab the pants, push, and now I come back into him, and I can square back up. That's a good chance for me, okay? Now, how about
have a couple others that we can do. This is today's stuff for those of you that wanted the new stuff too. Let's say you go ahead and sweep. He goes to sweep and boom. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to Nasty, son. Yeah. <laughs> right? I've accepted the fall. But I'm like, well, you're going to pay for that. Ooh. Right? Yeah. Everybody understand? So, ankle locks, heel hooks, whatever, whatever you have to be in. Now, the next one is, is a little bit more like tank style. Right? A little bit more slow and like this sort of thing. So, when he goes to do this, like he said, what if, because his reaction is to do that, right? Is to back out. Mm -hmm. Now what I want to do though, is I'm going to reach through and grab that leg just like I did before. I'm going to swivel through. Now if this is no gi, let's say real quick, and I can't grab, there's nothing to grab here, I would just put my fist on the floor right in front of his thigh. Okay, so by putting my fist here, he can't bend his knee back that way. Okay, so that adds, you know, kind of does the same thing as me grabbing his pain. Not quite as good, but pretty good. So when he does that, when he goes to like sweep, I'm gonna sprawl back, okay? And I can just kind of sprawl. Now look how close my head came to his leg, right? So he can't loop choke me, right? And now I can pull this collar, because he has my hand, but I can grab his collar here. Let's turn this way. All right. Let's see, I just sprawl out on his leg with my head close, <clears throat> grab that pants, grab that collar, pull him in half, and now I start pushing his leg away. And what I can do is come back towards his leg, right? And wedge him in. Okay, so one more time for that one. That was a little bit, seems simple, but it's a little bit more to it. Okay, so as I go, okay, I'm going to feel it and sprawl out. Okay, my head is close, my hand grabs his collar, I start circling, I'm pulling here, and then I put him flat and wedge him in. That's pretty simple. And Yogi, where would you grab him? I just grab him his neck. Then I, I always transition from if I have this, I go from here, right? Mm -hmm. Depending on if I have here. So does that make it less uh, strong, I guess? From the standpoint, you really have to be more extended to get the same. Yeah, it's, it's not quite as good, but if he's not wearing a uniform, this, that's my option. These are my yogi grips in wrestling, right? Like, yeah. That's my grip I have to, have to use. Um, there's lots of scenarios where that'll happen. However, let's quickly rewind a bit to the very beginning. That was the other one you didn't show Professor Sorry, now we can get Yes, exactly right. <laughs> so we had talked about that from the sweep position without a collar. If I don't have this, right, he grabs my head like that and you grab my wrist here. Because let's say it's no gi. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing to grab onto. This is actually worse for me. Okay? He doesn't have quite as many options with like the whole quad and all that stuff. He does, but not the same stuff because he doesn't have the same grips. But. This doesn't allow that G.I. Joe swivel. Mm -hmm. Because my head has to face wherever he tells it to go. So when he does that pull, I can't keep my head down. I can't keep my, my upper body facing him while my lower body swivels. He controls my head, I have to follow wherever he goes. So it's, you know, half a dozen of one or whatever the thing is. Got it? Sweet. Questions, guys? I know it was a lot, we went through a lot this week. So, I've, and Kurt does this to me all the time. When we come up here, I'm getting passed around to the other side. Okay. Just smashing the like So, can I? Thank you. Right? Not that 
Okay? All right, let's try it. One, two, three. And they're really, and, and you're trying to do this, but you can't quite get it because they're just heavy. I'll take this foot and I'll put it on his knee here. And now I push it away. So instead of trying to chop it, I push it. Okay? So it might be a little bit easier for you if you're having trouble with that position. Okay? I'm trying to save you. I don't like the narrative.